we saw the Suzy message. In the body I stuffed you with. What? You guys really do remind me of Michael. No wonder you're dead. Damn! <laughs> hey! Your boy Trader Go God done upgraded. Call me Trader Go God 2.0. Nah, today will not be a fun day. I told y'all I would hit y'all with it. It seems y'all enjoyed the last video. I don't think I enjoyed it though. Get off my screen right now. Get off my screen. I'm coming for you. <laughs> yes, what's good, my friends? And welcome to another scary reactions video. I promise y'all I will hit y'all with the next episode of me reacting to a message to the children, part one and part two why i killed them the last video did do pretty well and it seems like y'all enjoyed it y'all were all up in the comments i don't like doing these videos but for you 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 know i think i forgot to mention that after these like vhs tapes about william afton i have not been sleeping properly remember how i told you i like to sleep with my door open i've been sleeping with that junk wide open i don't get a break Woo. Greetings. Back into the corner. This isn't meant for you, but for someone else. All right. Someone specific. Someone who isn't alive for much longer. Who are they? Now, Gabriel. I don't like you. There are a few points I'd like to make. You know what you look like. Get off. Tape, and that's you somehow managed to record. And that, by the looks of it, I should respond with a apology. So here you go. Bro, sorry doesn't Don't make worry, up for what you I'll did. Don't try to be nice. Now, Gabriel, of course I've seen your pathetic little videotape stating how much you hate me and complaining about being trapped in the body I put you in. Surprisingly, you even called me a stupid rat. By the way, I shouldn't be surprised, because I kind of expected this. What? You guys really do remind me of Michael. No wonder you're dead. Damn! <laughs> and you over here laughing? And you deserved it anyway, along with the others I took along with you. So, here's the we thing. We gotta react to that video, you too. didn't die alone, Gabriel. So why are you complaining? And whining as if you're. He shouldn't have died in the now. first place. He probably like you eight. Been in my shoes, you'd want to pull the trigger the very moment something went wrong. We gonna see why you killed them though. So you in a little bit. I dealt with you and the others the way I did for no reason. No. It, you see, everything happens for a reason. But you just can't seem to understand that. Because you are a confused, pathetic little soul, lacking of the knowledge and the proper understanding to the slightest little thing. Aha, and it's for you, Susie. I saw your messages as well. I hope you're enjoying we saw your eternal message. rest in the body I stuffed you with. I hope I talk to you in real good. What? And us with the others, namely Fritz, Jeremy, and ah, wait for it, Emily. Charlotte, Emily. Oh, okay. I'll be here, waiting for you to make your own little VHS tapes, exposing how much of the little brats you all really are, and how much you remind me of Michael. Now let's turn a new leaf and change the subject. Changing the subject to something that truly matters, it's about time. The plot. Ooh. <sighs> anyway, there has been some reports recently. Charizard. I for, man, I barely hold him anymore. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, of course. And get this. I think I know who's responsible for it. Take a guess. You. I won't rush you. I'll give you 10 seconds. It's you. Why is he being all jokingly about it? You killed these kids. You can't figure out who I'm referring to. No remorse. By the way, I know you know who I'm talking about. It's you. You and your little murder partners. Yeah, Wait. that's right. Notice the phrase I used. 
Remember how I think Chica said they ended up killing very innocent people because the person of the night guard, they thought that that was William Afton. So they are now considered murderers as well. So he thinks he's not the only bad guy. But can you blame them? Murder partners. Let's just say it is referring to you, Gabriel. And you, Susie. And your other little friends. Now, imagine this. Kids like you becoming serial killers because you've been taught some discipline by an older father figure. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised because back I really in my know days, why. you'd never see things why? like this. But time is getting worse, huh? What is this sick world coming to? So there you go. You've all officially earned the nickname the world's youngest murderers. <laughs> sure, I've killed before, but the situation calls for it. I'm just a misunderstood man, Gabriel. Nobody wants to understand me, not even my own child. <laughs> you killed my youngest son back in 83, so that makes two of us. I'm so, sure. Gabriel, I think I delivered my message clearly. I hope your underdeveloped little brain try to understand what I put before you. What point are you and trying to prove? And for anyone else listening to this tape, there will be a part two recording okay. explaining what really happened to those kids with every inch of the detail of the events. Maybe you'll get to understand me more than just Looking at me is some monster who just somewhat got up out of nowhere and killed five so what innocent children. You know what? Maybe we will learn. We're going to learn. We're going to learn. Okay, so let's do a little recap action. He killed the kids. He also replied to their diss track. Um, I still don't understand. But that was just like a message to the children. What really spices things up? Part two, why I killed them. Let's get into it. This is the real deal. This is what we came for. It's a little bit too long. Good morning. Good evening and good night for anyone who is listening to this tape. Get cozy and comfortable because I will be telling a story. <laughs> The story about the day those children... Man, we don't gotta see what you look like every every uh, every VHS tape. Also, a day I had a lot of fun and enjoyment after dealing with grief and anger that kept fogging up my mind. <sighs> Charizard, be ready to blast anybody that wrote... I opened a business with my close colleague, Henry Dragon Emily. Claw, something. We decided a name for that business, and we called it Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We designed and worked on four robots. Freddy Fazbear, the leader of the band, Chica the Chicken, and Bonnie the Bunny, and Foxy the Pirate. Why do you have holes? Animatronic characters designed to entertain children during their visit. Now, this isn't the first establishment we You know, I got together. a question. I got a question. Hold we on. If Foxy had holes in him, why would you think to put a child in there? I would have automatically, I can't snap, but boom. Yo, it looked like a body in there. And it kind of smelled like one too. Nobody's thinking of that. Then in 1972, called Fred Bear's Family Diner, where something tragic happened i had three kids elizabeth joseph and uh my i don't want to mention the name of my third and oldest son thinking about him gets me upset every time and i can only think about killing those kids over and over again to get him off my mind is what I did. It didn't get him first. off your mind, did but you? It, this is where we begin on how it all happened. It did not get him off your mind. 
So now, there's nothing. I guess you all know the story of what happened there. So I'll summarize a few things. I lost my youngest son back in 83. Mm -hmm, the body. Joseph. Now, my oldest son was responsible for it. He kept saying it was an accident. Can but he knows, and I know that, it was not an accident. It was not an accident. But he kept saying it was an accident. He couldn't stop until Joseph was dead. <laughs> yeah, he bullied him. <sighs> he punched a hole through my heart. And... He sure broke it. Broke it into countless little pieces. I'm not Depression took me over. My mind took a dark turn. A really dark turn. And I couldn't focus on anything. But there was one thing that eventually crept into my mind slowly and slowly. Day by day. Killing Charlotte Emily. Murder. Oh. Revenge. Bloodshed. From who? I wanted to squeeze the useless life out of him and let him feel what I felt. I couldn't because I don't want to be on the FBI's most wanted list. Due to the things right. I do to teach him a valuable lesson. So, I had an idea. I could kill anyone else as long as they reminded me of him. Then I thought, hmm, who would be my victims and where would they be? Aha, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. <laughs> I laughed. I laughed as I went into my kitchen searched for a sharp knife. I found one. That's good enough for the job. I laughed all the way to my car and jumped in and drove straight to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I handled the steering wheel with the knife in my right hand. <laughs> I got out of the car. I put the knife in my pants so I wouldn't be noticed with it. I walked in. There were a good amount of kids in there. Now let's jump straight to the good part. I took five children out of the bunch that somewhat reminded me of Michael when he was a kid. I lured them into the backstage room and locked the door. Okay, okay, okay. So, Michael was the cause of the crying child's death. We know that. And then he wanted revenge. He kept thinking about any, everything but murder. That's all that was on his mind. He was just furious with that certain son. He could not talk to him. He could not live with him. He grabbed any child in the Fazbear Diner that reminded him, him of Michael, the son that he does not like, and killed them because they reminded him of why you bring your personal problems into other people's lives? Just because they, they, they are reminded, you are reminded of Michael because of them, got nothing to do with them. So no, I'm not gonna feel pity for you. <laughs> I did a number on him. Now, I'm gonna have to end the tape right here. I've been recording quite a number of stuff lately. And this recorder is running low on space, so I'm going to have to fix that. There will be a part three of this recording, continuing the story, and mm -hmm. he he here's the thing. Watch that one. I'll be explaining the juicy details on how I killed each child and how they reacted. Well, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I wasn't as scared as last video. However, I'm in that part where like, yo, this is a lot of plot. So we learned a lot of stuff about after the day about why he killed those kids. Michael was the reason of the crying child's death. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you round the like button, 
Ram the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you do not miss another video. With that being said, stay good, my friends. I also apologize if I didn't do the intro correctly. I'm now noticing that, but hey, it is what it is.